Stephanie. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Scrabble tile wall decor. We will be using wood tiles, vinyl letters, you will have some burlap ribbon, and you will also have an accent ribbon. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is apply the vinyl letters to the wood tiles. To start with, you will need to take something like a popsicle stick or something that is smooth and just burnish the edges of the vinyl so that we can make sure that they come up with the transfer paper. When you have done that to all four of your letters, we will start by applying the first one to one of the wood tiles. You'll notice that the wood has a grain that goes one way, so you'll want to make sure when you're doing your vinyls that you have the wood grain going the same way on each tile. Take your first letter and slowly peel it back making sure that the letter stays attached to the top layer of transfer paper instead of to the backing. Try not to touch the vinyl letter, but just the transfer paper. Center it where you want it to be. Now the transfer paper is sticky, so just make sure you have it where you want it and then smooth down the transfer paper and then taking your popsicle stick just rub over the vinyl letter. When you feel that you have got all the edges and all the surface you can start by slowly peeling away one of the corners of the transfer paper. Make sure that your vinyl is sticking to the wood as you're peeling. If it doesn't look like all of it has, you can lay it back down and burnish it some more to get all the air bubbles out. Sometimes you can just press it with your finger and get them out that way too. Okay, there's our first letter. I will finish up with the other three letters and then we'll be right back. Okay, I am done rubbing the vinyl onto each of the four tiles. So our next step is to attach the tiles together with some ribbon so that it can hang on the wall. I have taken some of the burlap ribbon and I have cut a strip that measures 50 inches long. On one of the ends, I have cut a notch out of it like a V with my scissors. And we are going to have that be at the bottom of the wall hanging. So keep that in mind as you're laying out your tiles that the V will be at the bottom. I have also cut a strip of the decorative ribbon that is the same length. It's also 50 inches. And I have also cut a notch out of the bottom of that. So what we're going to do is take a hot glue gun and just here and there we're going to tack this decorative ribbon on top of the burlap ribbon just so that it stays put. And you don't need a whole bunch. Just a little dab every six inches or so. Okay, so once that's done, we'll have this whole length of ribbon that's been tapped down together. Now the next thing that we're going to do is starting at the bottom of our project, this is where the E is going to go. So we're working from the bottom up, so we're spelling backwards. So I'm going to leave 
a couple of inches of ribbon showing at the bottom. I'm going to place my popsicle stick here just as a measuring device so that I know that that's where I want my glue or my thing to go. And then I'm going to glue just down the center of the block, working quickly. Now because the burlap ribbon has holes in it because of the weave, you're going to be wanting to work on a surface that it's okay if it gets some hot glue on it because the glue is going to seep through the ribbon a little bit. Okay, so I have the four tiles glued down to the ribbon as you can see, and you will have about a foot and a half of ribbon still left to go. And what we are going to do with that is flip this over upside down, take your loose end, and we are going to fold it over and glue it behind this first tile. That's going to give us some space to hang with and some space to tie a bow around. So I'm just going to apply a little glue right here and attach the end of the ribbon. The last step will be making a bow as an embellishment. I took the remaining burlap ribbon, which should be approximately 58 inches, and I cut a length of the decorative ribbon to the same length and we're just going to lay it over the top of the burlap. On this one I didn't glue the decorative ribbon down to the burlap ribbon because in tying the bow it wants to slide just a little and I found it was easier if it was not attached with glue. But I have found the center of the bow and we're going to slide it behind and then we're just gonna tie a bow. This does take a little patience where the burlap ribbon is stiff and wide. It does take a little bit to work with this, but we're just going to tie a normal bow. We're not gonna get fancy with it. Just like if you were tying a shoelace. Now the trick to tying a square bow is to make your first loop with the tail that's on the bottom. And then we want to take this tail that's on the top and bring it around now so that we have the polka dot ribbon showing the way that we want. You might need to twist it a little so that the polka dot ribbon is on the top when you're looking at it this way before you start to wrap it around. So I have my loop on the bottom, my layered ribbon at the top, and we're going to bring this around again just as if you were tying a shoelace. Now the loop in the middle is not going to have polka dot ribbon showing and that's okay. So when you have your ribbon the way that you want, you have your tails here that you can cut to the desired length. There you have it. Now it's ready to hang on your wall. You can either hang it by hiding a tack or a nail behind your loop here, or you could take a small string and loop it through the top and hang it by that. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.